I think a number of us have been there to the Mirabelle corner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, Drusilla Kingy Patterson, thank you. Welcome. Kia ora. Um, you've, mine's an evolving project. So I handed stuff in, but I've since come up with a long-term vision, which is this one that you should have in front of you. That's for our business. And this should take us right through to 222. OK, and then at the back of that is support material on the QE2 site. OK. Um, the Roy Stokes Hall in New Brighton must not be demolished if and when it does come to market that the Christchurch City Council should buy it for an event and community centre. Um, I've had quite a bit of dealings with that and I'm really concerned because that is still a key facility for New Brighton. Rail should have been in the long-term plan I have watched it be a political football over the last 20 years. A good road, rail system would have reduced traffic problems on our roads. I do six o'clock starts. Yesterday I did four o'clock start. I live in Rangiora as well as living in Bishopdale. And if I want to come into town, I have to leave at 10 past five in the morning. I'm getting home at eight and nine. So, you know, and I know that my, what you may not realise is a lot of the guys that built, like I'm working on the Triangle Centre, all those guys come from Amberley. Most of them come from North Canterbury. The guys that did the CTV site, they are on our radio committee. They um, all came from Taggart, Taggart Construction. So a lot of you, all your guys, are, so this is where all your traffic's coming from, okay? Development of a workable social housing and accommodation strategy to combat homelessness should be a core function of the Christchurch City Council. A city without a social heart is nothing more than a steel, glass, concrete buildings. It's the social heart and vision and engagement that will bring people back into the city and give our city a competitive advantage. Having a social heart is good for business and promotes tourism. I am for setting up a homeless accommodation centre. Accommodation shortage was problem 209 before the 210 and 211 earthquakes. I actually, I'm a gatekeeper for two sites plus traffic management and I'm just appalled at the amount of homeless people. I'm seeing things I never saw. And I've lived in Christchurch over 30 years. And it, to me, it's um, a real issue. I was really upset when they pulled down the Majestic, that could have actually been done up for accommodation. I've also got student, I've also got teenagers. Now we're looking at them moving into town to get work, there's no accommodation, all that, all those issues. Now, I'm setting up New Zealand Green Moon Film Studios. We hope to be based in Kensington House. I've just found out about a place that you can go and rent once it's done up. You can rent for the day. I do meetings all over Christchurch in different facilities. I belong to Screen Canterbury for eight years, done 14 elections, done 30 years community work, and I've done drama since 1984. So we meet all over the place, but we haven't got a base, and I just found this out in the last week. So I'm hoping that we can get in there, if not that facility, somewhere in Christchurch. Um, I've also got $7,000 worth of imported furniture to go into the Arts Centre, Next year, we're still waiting to hear, but we'll go in there once a year and do Shakespeare and dinner. That will be our core thing. We're filming 218 all over Christchurch, and then we've got another project after that, um, which I've been working on for 14 years. If it ever gets filmed, it's 12 to 20 million to film it. Right. 
I am for saving the old Trotting Club, which is located on an old par site, Kiri 2. One floor for a full scale model of old Christchurch. We've been looking around for a facility where you could build a full scale model, and I think the Kiri 2 site would be ideal. It has to be a building that's covered, and I've had a look at that building. And also, if you get on the balcony, we're all musicians. There's nowhere around in Christ that you can do heavy metal. Yeah, there's nowhere that you can actually go and practice with bands that you've got to worry about neighbours and things. And I think that would be a great facility for the community. And that I really want to see that building saved. Um, and yeah, I have five thousands of stock to establish a Christmas grotto in New Brighton. We filmed 218 Santa's Lost Key. Children's production. I'm trying to get into Rawiti domain. I've actually talked to the St John's. That might take another year or two years to set up. We, I said, part of the team that set up Rodeo and Mandeville. We're part of 40, 40 people. We get 6,000 people through. I then loaned. Um, I did Christmas parades for eight years, and I loaned Ashgrove School $2,000 worth of stock. They made 8,000 the first year. Eight, 8,000 the second year, 8,000 the third year. We've got 30 sponsors, we've got $60,000 worth of stock. We had 7,000 people through the door. The Baptist Church, that's a different story. They've been going 14 years, they get 37,000 people through the door. Brighton needs something over that side. So that's what I'm looking. Also in Mount Pleasant, the long-term vision in four years, we're gonna do Christmas trees over that side, okay? Um, I'm writing a children's play, which is 218, um, which is very much like Big Bird. That's the best way I can describe it. You've got Sesame Street and you've got Big Bird. I've got, I've got um, E.T., which is a blue mower, and we've got New Regent Street, flying chair, chalice, and it's about having fun. Okay? Um, a percentage of the money raised will go to the Curie 2 site. So I'm not interested about making the money from it, but we will run an event, set it up, and turn it into a festival. And that's the idea. Rawiti Domain is actually just, it's just really lovely. And you've got all these little huts, and so we're going to make that Santa's workshop. The area for development of the Quata Centre at Curie 2 must be able to service three high schools. Everybody keeps talking about two high schools. It's actually three high schools and the community. It must not be owned by the Education Department or Ministry of Education. The old, the old trotting club must be saved and restored at the Curie 2 site to run as an event centre and must not be owned or run by the Education Department or Ministry of Education, whatever. The area set aside for the Aquatic Centre and Old Trotting Club must have land area space around its boundary. I'm really concerned that you're going to have two schools coming and you're going to sell too much off, and then when you need to develop that facility, you're not going to have the land. So I'm really, really concerned about that. Um, must have future development. It also includes the area for the cricket, which must not be sold or run by the Ministry of Education or Education Department. Lovers have a beef with the Education Department. Now, the reason why I've done that is, first of all, we fundraise for Kerry too, and also, too, I was part of a team that um, we had six years of arguing, community group of 40, um, at a committee meeting, set up a committee, eight years of committee work, and they fundraised for Dudley Pool. Dudley Pool in Rangiora services one high school in the community. Kaipoi Pool, same size, serves one high school in the community. Papanui Pool services two schools. Services Papanui, and a lot of people don't know St Andrews. So the thing is, you might be building the big facility over here where some of that money actually went out of the economy of New Brighton. The thing is, you're going to need a facility like that over there and the key shouldn't be the money, it should be making sure that there's enough land there for future development. The money will come if the plan is right and the community will get behind it.
okay? Um, and that's, that's one thing I'm concerned. Now, the next thing is the mission statement. The reason why I'm going about the mission statement, I actually presented this to Bob Parker, laugh when he was in his last term, and um, I've worked on it since. And it takes, it's just my vision for the city. I presented a cup and pens. I'm sitting on it, been sitting on it for four years. There's other things that will follow, like photos we've found that could come with T-shirts. There's things like that. Um, we will try and source crown funding, but it's one of these things at the moment. It's part of our mission statement. It's in everything, and I'm going to focus on it. And I, really what I'm doing today is mainly just to keep youth informed who we are. I'm the mad Mary lady who's making a movie. <laughs> Tricilla, I think that's um, time now. But, um, and I mean, that sort of kind of seems an unfortunate <laughs> note to, to end on. But, um, it, you know, we really appreciate you coming along and presenting these ideas. Obviously, all of these things have to be taken into account when we consider the long-term plan and all comments are valuable. So we really appreciate you taking the time and submitting to us this afternoon. Good. Um, just one thing. There was a thing on Jade Stadium, so you'll have to read it. We, we okay. have honestly read your submission. Promise. Yep. Thank okay. you very much. Thank really you very well much. Appreciate it. Cheers. Uh, Brian Donovan.